Hi there, everyone. This is Tina, and this is your message of the day. And this takes you into the weekend, and this comes to you on Friday, March the 10th, 2023. A day of balancing, a day of deciding what is real in your life. You let worries take over. That is really your imagination going into the dark when it should go into the light. And what the forces of light want you to do today is focus on what is right for you, what works for you, where you want to go, where your mind really wants to be and your heart really wants to stay. Those kind of things. There's no conflict between emotion and thought right now. It is basically those, you can say, little insects of worry that are going on attaching themselves to you. And you allow it somewhere. Now, again, you might get overwhelmed by this thought that, oh, I have, you know, forever subconscious fears and blockages, so I I might never be able to go forward because there's too much junk inside me. That's not true. Today, the law of attraction, the laws of attraction are really working on your behalf. So that is why we've got this beautiful card coming to us, carrying the grace, love, support, unconditional presence of the angelic forces. And this time it comes to you not with an angelic face that you already know, an archangel that you, again, you know, try and remember the details and get overwhelmed. It's just the angelic forces saying, just look at the light and surrender. Let it go. Let your worries go. Just be in the moment. Those are just fears. Choose to hear the hear your fears. Yes, hear your fears. Hear your mind actually speaking to you or your feelings come up or whatever your reaction is to a situation, to a person, to a moment, to a feeling, what you think about your future, your desires, where you are, all of that. Yes, it might be, you know, churning around. You might say, I don't even know what to focus on right now. There's so much going on in me. Past, present, future, it's all coming as if it's a soup that's getting formed, but the soup is not sitting still, right? It's swirling around. That is exactly why the angelic forces say, we are here, just let us hold you. And now again, you might say, do I call upon my guardian angel? Do I call upon the angels of the moment? How do I name these angels? How do I call upon them? Leave your ego. Look at her, the beautiful Faye over here, she's like a child, right? Be like a child. Just look at her. And however those words come into your heart, your mind, your feelings, your consciousness, think about it that way. Just leave your ego. I surrender. I let go. This worry, it's going to be transmuted. It's going to be changed. I'm going to be at peace. This is just present moment. I can surrender this and go forward. I can change my future by changing myself right here and right now. You don't have to remember all these words. You just have to absorb them. It becomes your reality somewhere. Why? Because see, the light behind you is only growing brighter. Why? Because you are choosing just to focus on the divine. That is the only reality of your life. The divine as you define it, not others' definition for you, not the external forces that are telling you how to be. That's exactly how you leave your ego, by not reacting, not getting into arguments, oh, my way is better and your way is better and all of that, just let it go. Leave your ego. You don't have to prove anything to anyone. Just be in the light, be love, seek blessings, be in the moment. No definition No arguments, leaving anger, bitterness, pain, regret, all of that behind. See, she's just holding her hands to the light. Let your hands actually be a receptacle for the light. And if you are a Reiki practitioner already, you're already channeling the energies. You know how to use the energies. And if you are not, just ask to be in that prayer position And use your hands as a signature, as a receiver. 
So ask for a sign in some way for that is unique to you, for you, for you only. Maybe you choose to paint. Maybe you choose to cook. Maybe you choose to touch a computer. Maybe you choose to write something. Ask your hands to bring forth some form of creativity that helps you build faith, enhance that faith, express yourself uniquely that is unique to you. Maybe you're a carpenter. I mean, it's infinite, right? And some portion of your chakras will also support your hands as you're going forward. Like, yes, to say that, yes, we're there. It's the angelic forces, again, just tapping you and saying, go forward. And just leave feeling regretful, bitter, or angry, or disappointed. Just look to the light. And choose, see these wonderful colors even within this image. Choose one or more of the colors to be your color of release. Releasement, if you want to use that word. And see her hair. That is the golden and white and copper light merging into you, helping you sparkle helping you feel fresh and new. You're just looking. You're just receiving. You're choosing to feel again. You're choosing to create in your own form of creative expression and leave any sense of being incorrect because you've not been accepted or you're not accepting yourself. That validation you seek It's coming. Feel that sense of support right here and right now. So let go. Just keep choosing to use this image. Merge yourself with this image. And if you need to even close your eyes for a moment, use meditative music and just feel yourself going up, up, up. You say, how am I rising? Don't worry about how you're rising. Just feel yourself lifting out of your body, becoming one with nature, becoming one with earth, becoming one with all of the stars. Higher than that, just complete peace. You're surrendered. You're one with Divine Father, Divine Mother, the angelic realm. Again, don't start to define what the realms of heaven are. It will just come to you as you need it. You just need to know that, yes, you are receiving heavenly energies in your own way. Not as a profound master, but just as someone who is real and tuned into this moment. So let go right now. That is just your ego talking when you get upset or irritated or start to react in a negative way. The negative is never connected to the light. The negative just comes when you're blocking the light in some way or you've blocked yourself off from the light or you're not surrendered enough, you can say, and still you're thinking, if, and, and, but. The angels want to remove that conflict right now, want to help you access the wisdom of your own higher self that is forever connected to the Akashic consciousness. Again, no Deep meditation needed. You are a living meditation just as you walk around, even cooking and cleaning and everything. Why? Because you're real. That's it. Just be real. Actually loving and being kind and speaking from that point of view, everything else changes. There's really nothing else to remember. Because you feel good, the other person feels good, the situation changes And Reiki and universal forces just use that light to enhance the good. You can do the same. I choose to enhance the good right now and leave my ego with the help of the angels for. That's it. The angels ask you to stop applying your human understanding to all that is troubling you right now. You're just not in your right mind. Your ego is strongly influencing you at this time because you're choosing to step into that. That's okay. It becomes a choice sometimes as if I as a healer do not go into that space. Of course I do. 
Your ego does not love but thrives on making you separate and always tries to protect itself at the cost of your relationships, both with your loved ones, friends, all of humanity really. So this relationship barrier is a barrier, both with yourself and others, and literally your heart is cut away inside a little box, you can say, or door that's closed. So let Archangel Michael vacuum out all your fears, negativities right away, and ask Archangel Jophiel to enter your thoughts. So you're reacting to everything from your higher self. There's no you versus them. Please know this. If your ego chatters too much, let it have its say, let it finish raving and ranting. But once your ego has received attention, guess what? The energy has to change because the universe is constantly in flow. It's always in movement. It's always moving. So energy cannot remain still or remain the same. It has to keep changing. So why not change it for the good and be a co-creator with the light? And guess what will happen to the ego? It has no choice but to remain quiet or to die away altogether. It's just trying to protect you. Ask for protection in a more graceful manner, without raving and ranting and hurting yourself or others. Ask your angels to quiet your ego mind and voice right now so that you can truly enjoy receiving heaven's wisdom. And when you do, everything around you automatically changes everything in front of you that you're creating or working on manifesting also changes because you've embraced the wisdom in this moment. So once you surrender your will to your angels, don't worry about your ego. It'll get silenced right away. And you will receive tremendous signs, epiphanies, ideas, and miraculous solutions the ways forward will come to you. Everything will flow smoothly and gracefully. You just not even have to fight even for the moment to even declutter your room if that is something that you have to focus on. Your day, the activities that you have to give attention to this day will come through smoothly. And miraculous solutions to all of your problems all the situations surrounding you, whatever you think is troubling or is impossible to cross will get crossed. Desires will find a way and you will realize where you are easily. Beautiful angels, this is the affirmation you can use and it's there with the message of the day. Beautiful angels, wise guardians of my decisions and my mind, I ask you to shine the white light of divinity on my thoughts today. Help my ego get silenced. In this moment, I surrender all of my will and soul power to God and you right now and ask you, to help me release small thoughts for my higher self. You're basically asking your higher self to be the one who's more present. And the sense of connectedness and the smooth flow and the trust and the faith will naturally come. So just leave your ego and touch this card, this image, several times this day. Just keep breathing. Breath is very important this day. Not on purpose to hurt yourself, but just to say, like I let it go. And this comes as a graceful blessings from the angels by me, Tina, and the holy art that helps you connect with the universe, with heaven, with the angelic forces surrounding you comes from Sue Miller. 
And Sue Miller can be reached at S-U-E-M-I-L-L-E-R-A-R-T dot com. And also from this image that you see here, find three colors that connect with whatever reason you feel they're connecting with you. Don't, again, give it a meaning. The meaning will come through. That's actually a better and intuitive way to approach this day. Not asking why and why is this happening. It'll just come through. The more you do that, the more your ego will be silenced because it will not have a reason to worry or question or get angry or to protect. Protect fiercely. No, you don't have to protect anything with fierce energy, angry energy or viciousness. You'll be protected anyways by just standing up for who you are and being who you are with ease and love and peace and grace and it will just flow through. And you'll say, wow, it's that easy. It's supposed to be that easy. You're not supposed to hit your head against the wall all the time. So even if you want, you can do this activity for yourself to see where you are in in terms of your ego dominating you or your higher self being there, the two palms, bring them together. Then close up your hands. So just lightly closing your hands so the nails and the fingers are touching the palm left and right. And then see if the left hand is stronger or the right hand is stronger. And before you close your hands, or even now as you have them closed, name one for negative or ego and name one for higher self. Now, open your palms and see which one opens easier. And if it is the ego that opens, then just ask again the angels to help you release and Take that breath in and say, I let it go. And again, close your palms until the one that is holding your higher self's connection with you, the wire to you, you can say, the charger of heaven, opens easily. Now both will open easily and both will reflect the light. And you'll feel the vibration is easier and lighter in both of your hands. And your breath will change. And your thoughts will be lighter. And you'll feel more optimistic where you feel pessimistic or judgmental about anything or anyone or yourself. And you'll feel optimistic about your future, that yes, it's going to happen. And you'll feel like you want to try out new things that you, you didn't even think about 10 minutes ago. All of that will come to you. So enjoy this day and leave your ego behind. Leave the dark behind, the old. It's time now to fly with the heavenly self, the heavenly forces surrounding you with the light because you are part of that. You're part of the light. And embrace that divinity. Embrace that joy that is meant for you. And this is Tina signing off for now. Bye.